Mayor John Quinone is talking about picking tomatoes in the fields in Swanton, Ohio. I think I was at a field across from him picking the tomatoes too. I picked tomatoes next to my mother, my brothers and sisters by my side, while my father worked hard at General Motors. But they were rebels, rebeldones, that's what we call them. I watched both my parents become leaders. My father became a union leader for General Motors. He was the first to get blacks and women in General Motors because for some reason they thought women couldn't put a little screw in a motor. They were wrong. <laughs> my mother became a migrant rights activist who got the first porta potty and water for the migrant workers because people didn't think they needed them in the heat. But my mother said yes, or we're going to walk, and your tomatoes can rot. <laughs> my parents always said, do everything con ganas, with passion, and never be afraid. Nunca tengan miedo, never be afraid. And that's why I ignore haters. I ignore negative people. I ignore racists. Because as Eleanor Vega has always told me, never give away your power, and I will never give away my power. <laughs> I'm also standing here because I have a great husband, John Boos. When he met me in San Antonio, that's where we hooked up, at a TV station, <laughs> I said to him, Okay, if you want to date me, you have to follow me in every job. He's like, okay, I'll follow you. And he did. And everywhere we moved, Phoenix, Los Angeles, Dallas, he followed me. He put his career behind mine because he said, as a Latina, as a woman, society needs you. I'm a white guy. I get everything. And tonight, he's taking care of the five dogs at home. <laughs> became a journalist, and he is now a loyal member of SPJ. And he's a, an executive producer in Detroit. I also want to thank NAHJ, the National Association of Hispanic Journalists, for teaching me how to be a leader. I was on that organization's board for six years. NHJ prepared me for SPJ. But lastly, I want to thank you, the members of SPJ, who said it was time for a Latina and woman of color to lead this organization, even though this organization is probably 85% white. You said it's time for diversity, inclusion, and equity. You said, while well, everybody in the grandmother talks the talk about diversity in newsrooms and classrooms or whatever, you said, we're doing it. It is time. So thank you for that. My work is done as president, but I will still be a loud voice for diversity, inclusion, equity, and truth in journalism. Remember, all our voices are needed, all of them. And when you look around the table in a newsroom, in a classroom, look around. Am I there? Is the LGBTQ person there? Is the young person there? Is a 60-year-old person there? Are they there? And when do you see someone missing in, at the table that makes decisions, speak up. Silence is not an option. Silence means, am I scared? We're journalists. We have guns, we have guts, we have passion. Use it, never lose it. God gave me a voice and a heart because he said you're gonna make a difference. And I know if God takes me tonight, I have made my mark. Please make your mind.